we've reached the end of the world. You know what's amazing about this is the dubs come out and they've got a chalkboard and it's covered with a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. And they explain that they are going to do the first ever dub cup. And they explain, and, and uh, Disco Inferno, by the way, is out there. And he's interviewing them. And, uh, and the Dup say, these are the rules of the Dup Cup. And they pull the big piece of paper off the chalkboard. And there's 5,000 words on the chalkboard. And I thought, okay, well, that's kind of funny. It's ridiculous. Like, there's no way there's that many rules. I was wrong. These were the rules of the Dup Cup. You wrote them down? Please don't recite them. I, I did not write them down. Oh, thank God. Okay. But the fact of the matter is, these 5,000 words, because we always make fun of in World Champion, actually, it, was, I think it might have been in TNA, where, uh, you know, they're going to have, like, the Hard 10 tournament, and then Mike Tanay goes, here's the rules. It's really quite simple. And then there's two fucking screens worth of complex rules for this fucking tournament. I was thinking about that when he when he lifted the chalkboard. I'm like, this has to be a gag. Like, there's 50,000 rules. Nope. They start going over every single one of the rules. Here's how you get points. You must get 10 points to win. You get uh, three points for hitting some dude with a chair. You get... Um, Two and a half forget, for Borash. Uh, yeah, you get some points for hitting Borash. If you hit the lady at the ticket counter, you get X number of points. And then one of them is like, you get five points if you goose... Or it was like three points if you goose a lady... Five points if you goose a man. It's like, why you fucking just goose somebody twice? You win. Like, I, it, it wasn't even. I can't believe I'm breaking down the rules. It wasn't even like you get one goose. That's it. Like after you've used your goose, you don't get another one. They're just like, fuck. I could go goose a guy twice in two seconds and win the fucking dub cup. These idiots. Anyway, <clears throat> they're going over all these fucking rules. I'm dying. It's going on. And on and on. And some of these rules, like, I'm not even on this show, could have, would I possibly ever say the words they had for these rules? And it's just, oh, God. Continue, Vinny. I'm, I'm there, done. There, okay, I hate to interrupt. Somebody. So there was a rule that actually played into the finish of the match. Oh, who cares? No, I have to hear this. Uh, okay. There was a match? <laughs> okay. If you spank a man's bare bottom... You get his ass. You get three points. Okay. If he likes it, you get minus two points. Huh. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, Billy. They're going over this shit. It's taking fucking forever. I went, Hours. No. <laughs> Hours. It's, there's absolutely no redeeming quality. The 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 only question is is, is the joke they're going to tell going to be merely unfunny or is it going to be unfunny and terribly offensive? We had <laughs> we had ableist slurs. We had nonstop toilet humor, just going on and on and on. You we know had, the actual worst part was actually that's a very good question. There's so much to choose from. When when they would read off some of this shit and the crowd would pop. Well, there's that. I was like, oh my god. You people are cheering for these fucking rules. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we had misogyny. We had a lot of that, of course. Uh, we had a lot of stupidity. I have decided, I and mean, I, was, I was leaning this way anyway, but this is pretty over the top. The Dups is the worst gimmick I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> well. Like, if I, the point of a gimmick is to get talent more over. Mm -hmm. This is the worst. Because as we've noted... Stand up, went on to have a long successful career. Bowed up, had a lot of talent. This gimmick makes me want to never, ever see them again, ever, one time, ever, as long as I live, ever. Since people are throwing out their evers and evers, I stopped and thought about this. This was the stupidest thing I've ever seen in pro wrestling. This wasn't shtick. This wasn't an attempt at humor. Actually, it okay, was. It was. Okay, okay, it was an attempt at humor, but it was not funny at no. all. No. It wasn't campy. This, we had Miz being attacked by zombies in a match. We had uh, Sami Zayn and Johnny Knoxville in nothing but a, but pranks. This was downright stupid. Yeah, I felt dumber after watching it. You were. 
We were. We all were. <sighs> but, like, people, when they, when they recap, like, the, the horror show of the early days of TNA, they remember the midget masturbating in a trash can, and they remember uh, the Johnsons, two men dressed mm-hmm. as penises. And by, sure. by the time the segment was done, I was begging for the Johnsons to come back. <laughs> I've never wanted to see two dicks so bad in my life. Just anything yeah. better than this. I want to see him come back, huh? Yes, please, okay. please. Standing tall. Uh-huh. Uh, so eventually, uh, they don't have an opponent. So if anyone is willing to, to to challenge them, they offer a night with their cousin Fluff, who conveniently is not even there. Who hasn't been around for weeks? Was yeah. she f- fired? Well, I would imagine she, probably, she quit. She probably run off. Yeah, yeah. So upon uh, the, hearing the chance he may get to touch a woman, Ed Ferreira takes the match, immediately punches Jeremy Borash and gooses Don West to get a bunch of points, and it's Ed Ferreira wrestling the dups for like six minutes. First of all, I want to... Dude, I, God damn, fuck me, brother. Like, as shitty as that rules segment was, it was like... <laughs> You know, maybe if they would have done that rules segment and then had a decent match, I might somewhat forgive this segment. But this fucking match with Ed Ferrara was the shittiest fucking match. I mean, this guy can't do anything. Like, he can't throw a punch. He can barely bump. He, I mean, fuck me, dude. This was so horrible. And it just went on and on. So... We had a bunch of violent chair shots right to the head. We had people getting hit with boots and bottles and canes and blow-up dolls. Uh, oh, yeah, the blow-up doll. I forgot about that. Yeah, there was a blow-up doll used as a weapon in this match. It was one of the dup rules. So, I don't know if you mentioned this or not, but you get points in this match for punching Sarah the Ticket Lady. Yeah, who's this like, is the only redeeming thing in this entire like match. Granny's age. Very true. So, Bo goes to beat up Sarah the Ticket Lady. But she had to broom and fights him off. Beats the shit out of him with this broom. Yeah. So Paulina from Tough Enough is out there. And she's mad at stand up for Christ knows why. I don't fucking know. I and, don't either. And the, the, the chalkboard like spins. Well, why is she mad at this guy? I don't fucking know. So the chalkboard spins, right? So you mm-hmm. flip it over. And sure. I'm quite certain the idea was that they'll spin this chalkboard into stand up's head and it will break. But it was way too flimsy and she could not spin it hard enough no matter how hard she tried. Not only that, she didn't even do it very hard. She just kind of goes, and it kind of sort of hits him. She was she was trained, by the way. She was in tough enough. Like, Hugh Morris tried to make her a wrestler. But she kind of goes like this. And, it, and then even Disco Inferno's like, do it again. Hit him harder. And she tries it a second time, and it's still lame. I'm like, is there anything in this match that's even going to be mildly redeemable? And the answer was no. There was not. So uh, Craig alluded to the spot where uh, Ed was spanking uh, Bowed up with, with, we should note here, the, the riding, what do you call that thing, a hobby horse? Yeah. Horsey poop. Oh, yeah, the, the, horsey the, the hobby horse. He's yeah. spanking Bowed up with horsey poop, but in fact, Bo likes it, so Ed loses points. Right. And eventually, Bo chokeslams Ed through a table and wins. Uh, somehow, like, I, I, this felt like the worst five hours of my life. <laughs> Somehow it was only 16 minutes start to finish from from the point where Disco came out to talk to the point where the match impossible. Ended. <laughs> That's impossible. Easily, easily the worst segment I've seen on a wrestling show all year. Oh, I, I've I've got to stop watching this in general pop downstairs. <laughs> I've, dude, you get get, on your get phone yourself in solitary, and go bro. Side with a pair of earbuds. Jesus Christ! Punch a guard, right. get thrown in solitary, Fuck. then watch the show. The the missus walks in. The boy walks in when the the woman's Stop. half dressed. It's it's. I just want to see my family after a hard day's work. I really don't want to do this, Brian. My wife absolutely hates you. <laughs> Every That's Monday, not very nice. That's, she, I didn't. She, I didn't write this show. <laughs> she said, "God." She, Every Monday when I sit not down, my to watch fault. It, she go, I hate Brian. I go. I do too. And we have you're, a little. You're a horrible person. You should be sticking up for me. Throw someone else under the bus like Ed Ferrara and Vince McMahon and fucking Disco Inferno. Jesus. Disco Inferno, the same guy that doesn't understand Minoru Suzuki matches. Yeah. Out here for the fucking Dup Cup. Jesus Christ. This, You know what? I don't want to make you guys suffer more. But, but. I think that next week somebody needs to get me a copy of the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov versus the Bushwhackers. <laughs> because that, 
That was, I believe, the worst match I ever saw in my whole lifetime. Right. And we need yeah. to go back and watch it because no. I'm pretty fucking sure that the Dup Cup was probably miles, no. miles worth worse no, than that match. I, 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 the actual point where the, the guys were in the ring doing stuff, as horrible as it was, was not as horrible as the promo part. And in fact, I don't think it was even the worst match on this here wrestling show. Well, I guess we did have the evening gown match. We had that fucking Fuck me. evening gown match. But at least That's that when the was boy like quick, oh, and it was over with. Well, he was probably delighted. Why? He, he averted his eyes because he's a good kid. God. All right. Anybody else have anything to say about this fucking dup cup? It was After fucking horrible. Seat. It was a pile of trash. It sucked. I hated it. It was horrible. And it's not my fault! After seeing this, I was interested in what Brian Alvarez from 2002 oh, said about this oh, match. Oh, no. Not the worst match of all time, Ha-ha! but fucking horrible nonetheless. It also went on so long that I wanted to send in demand a bill. I probably should have. You couldn't have gotten the money because I was the one paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to mention like how low rent. Craig paid for this twice. This fucking God. show was that uh, when they your wife the is back, allowed to hate me for that one. <laughs> to, when they go to the back to see uh, Sarah, the ticket lady, that you know they could have put up some signs like "sold out," like "no more tickets" no. or whatever. No. But no, there were signs up for uh, two for one vouchers. Huh. <laughs> God. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> She'll find new and inventive ways to suck. Yeah. God. All right, oh. Granny, let's get moving here. <laughs> or not. Okay. Not all at once. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Am I supposed to do my... Yeah. I can't find it. Just a minute. Oh, shoot. What's going over there, Granny? <laughs> I'm getting it. Okay. Did we catch you off guard with our Tuesday night show? Why don't you read another question while we're waiting? Well, I closed the Facebook. Let's see if I can uh, dig it back up here. I'm ready. Sean, okay, I can't believe mind. the faith you have in Vinny to this day. <laughs> All right. Well, never it's, mind. It's absolutely incredible. <laughs> Go ahead, Granny. <laughs> it's been how many uh, years? <laughs> what is happening on this show? <laughs> granny, I want to know. It's Are your you turn, Granny. We're waiting for you. Then don't interrupt. Who interrupted? That was just... eight seconds of dead air. <laughs> hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.